This article is from March of 1973, so about a year before we opened. Julia Goodman is looking back in time. I came down to do a little bit of digging and found a variety of newspaper article, you know, clippings. She's been tasked with bringing together moments uh, in this box we have. to celebrate the nonprofit's 50th year of supporting single parents. The parents do not have to worry about their where their children are and who is watching them and how they are being cared for while they are focusing on their career or their education. Goodman says the most important parts of the organization's story can't fit in a box. We'd be nothing without the residents. Residents like Annette Daly. My heart is with Warren Village because it is the place that I was first able to make a home. She moved to Warren Village at 18 with two kids in 1992. Day to day, was almost like being in a constant uh, survival mode. She spent two years looking out of these windows, hoping to see her future a little more clearly. And now she does. Four children and my four grandchildren. And I am a registered nurse. I was able to get my bachelor's and got my master's. All those people who found their power or found their independence. With each story of the past, Warren Village moves its mission forward. We're hoping that someday every single parent and their kid, their children, has a safe, secure place to live. Warren Village right now is organizing a call to action for anyone who's played a part in its story. They want to hear from past residents, children of those residents, and volunteers leading up to a special community gathering in May. In the studio, Janelle Finch, 9 News. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day, that's for sure. Janelle, thank you.